Hello, everyone. So I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you my experience with the new rules and what has been maybe uh, helpful for me to kind of uh, get into the mindset of the change. Um, and especially where I got confused uh, in the beginning as to what I thought it was and then learning what it really was. Okay, so no, like all the basic, right? Like uh, they're for 12 and under, pretty much everything stays the same. They have the four figures. They are ruled the same way. They are, there are four panels. Um, the figures are the same except for water drop. Um, and uh, pretty much for 12 and under, everything is good. Um, for 13.15, that's the a big change. Now, instead of doing... And then again, this is important that if you're watching me from a different country um, or, or for, from different countries, that you understand that the rules are set for World of Aquatics, last call, FINA, for international competitions. So... If you're from a national federation um, and you want to communicate and you're not exactly from the federation, but you want to communicate like a difference in this, you should know that all national federations should do what they want to do. You can adapt the rules to you. You can uh, create a progression towards the new rules. So... Uh, there's no obligation for you to follow into the world of aquatic rules right at this moment. You can kind of see there are many countries that are starting to see how it's working out. It hasn't actually been put into practice internationally. It's going to start in March now with the World Series at, at Markham, Canada. So, and this is at senior level. It's not even at youth level. Um, and 12 and unders. It always stays the same. Uh, so we have to be very conscious about um, this is for international competitions. Um, so if you go to an international open, maybe they should have the new rules applied to this international or they might uh, put it in the registration form. How are they going to value things? Okay, so for 1315, two figures, they get drawn. I think you already kind of know. If not, I'll say really fast. So uh, all of the swimmers are drawn into half. Then uh, the group that each group of swimmers of halves are gonna is gonna get drafted. Uh, sorry, the group is draft. I'm saying it. Should have a visual for this, right? Um, so there's a section, there's section A, which has two groups, section B, which has two groups, C, that has two groups. Um, the first draw is the section. Then for the groups, each, each um, figure is gonna be selected by the half of the group. I think you should look into this the way that it's written instead of me trying to explain it. It's a bit of a, a, a brainer. Okay, other than this, youth do have new figures, new skills. So make sure that you're looking into that. Um, then... For juniors and seniors, there are technical programs, right? And they're the same for both. The only thing that is different is the the for juniors and seniors, they get to select the level of difficulty of each element. So most of the elements have an A and B version. But in the event, so like solo event or like duet event, there are some elements that are the same for 
like there there's no a and b version there's just one version that they have to do so you have to look into that as to see which ones are the ones for your that fit best for your swimmer for a and b and the one that is all together it should be like that okay so let's go to uh, the hybrid of difficulty um table there's a remember that the last version there was an addendum that came out after the difficulty guides or like the first time that they shared the, the rules, okay? And in this sense, I kind of updated, I have it laminated um, and I updated the connected, the connected um, difficulty. Uh, so do make sure that you pay attention to that detail because once you declare your difficulty, it should well actually um the if you do it on a template for like an excel template it should calculate on its own um which i think that is out already but that's not the most important thing um this is the part that i got a bit confused what is it that i declare so when as a in a coach card when i start declaring I don't declare everything that they do. I only declare the families. So like the families are what represents the difficulty in my routine. So let's separate uh, subjects. So then transitions are anything that are done over the surface of the water, maybe even like the basic transitions are breathing. So body boost, le uh, side kicks, ballet legs, any one leg transition where the head doesn't go underwater uh, for like solos and things like this. Um, so all of that doesn't get declared at all. It's just you put the second that it starts and the second that it finishes in the music, that's and you put transition and that doesn't get declared. Okay, what gets declared? There are five families. So the first family is the thrust. The second family is the rotation. The third family is flexibility. The, and then the fourth family is airborne weight. And the fifth family is the connection, which of course there's no connection for solos. Um, what was it that I was struggling with I thought that maybe like a position might be declared, but it, the only one that I can find that it can be declared is like a vertical hold for three seconds. And of course, you don't want to just do that. You want to do that with like some legs or something like that, that doesn't go over the 45 degrees. Um, so you really want to make sure that... Um, all of All of what is written here is a transition and that's very important to kind of notice because we cannot make up things that aren't that aren't written out so for example i had this person come up to me and tell me no what what is it counting what how can i declare a hybrid and the girl was going up and around and split and up and around and split and i'm like you can't declare any of this because, for example, if she was going up one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and not counts, but actual seconds, then I can declare this as an airborne weight. And the split, a middle split, she was piked in the split. So I cannot declare a piked split. It's a split is the legs are in line with the hip. So if a middle split is not fully in 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 place then don't don't declare it well maybe do declare it, but work on it so that it and then it gets taken off from execution right um but you really want to show maximum split in of the legs in line with the hip okay all right so then uh what was the other example there are other examples of like uh, switches. There are no, there's nothing on the difficulty that you can like switch. 
of legs is not part of anything that you can declare in in the this the, like the other thing is like do not make it up don't try to make your things fit the rules make sure that you know the rules um mayuko fujiku the national team coach of spain she actually showed us is something you're going to receive it soon it's going to be on the learning uh, platform um and they're going to load it but we saw it and she actually added two videos one with like the choreography side of how you will create like not limit yourself like how would you create with the music that you have right like the creative process on one side of the video and then how will you use this creative power to really uh, push through your your technical like once you do this version of creativity with the rules like use the creativity process to build the new rules like the new family and it was really spectacular like try not to limit yourselves like uh, just looking into the the table but do make sure that you kind of like uh, uh, use that creative process that to inspire you for the next part okay okay so declaring the coach card um it's very important that you look at the guide um to understand what can be declared but i will say some specifications so for the thrust uh, this was something that i didn't know like i hadn't thought about it either if the so you know that there's like a deviation for figures like um like um some deduction in the execution if you pass over your face for the barracuda so in the rules i have asked this to ana montero and she said to me yes like the legs to be a, counted as a thrust cannot pass the 45 degree okay so in anything that happens before it so for example there are some barracudas that want to be done with like there's a barracuda that can be done with one leg and now that i think about it it's a bit tricky because you can go vertical and then hit right so this part, just make sure that it doesn't pass the 45 and make sure that you get to show the vertical at 45. And from there, you can start like an arch position um, or like an over that ends with a crash, but make sure that the height of the flexibility is shown, like the flexibility is shown at max height which that would be considered a level four, a thrust with flexibility. Um, yes, I have asked this. So if not, I wouldn't be saying this, right? Um, and a thrust with flexibility could, could finish in a crash. It's not, that is not written. So if you wanna do it or not, that's your choice. Um, Maybe in the addendum is written. I need to check. Uh, but just make sure that um, uh, once you, you the first part of the thrust needs to be with the legs together at 45. And then from there, you can continue the next motion. Okay. Um, because that was a tricky question. There's some almost like people that go to like a pike position but like literally a pike position with the heads out of the water, but it's a pike position almost. And then they go for the next part of the transition. But for it to be counted as a thrust, the legs need to be together. They need to represent the almost vertical. She's told me that the, the range of motion should stay the, in the first part in a 45 degree angle because that's the definition like it has to go through a vertical and the limit is the 45 degree 
And it is written. This is written. I know I, I have even posted this maybe on my stories or somewhere, but I know I have read this. What else? Um, that for the thrust, for the rotations, be like make sure that for that you don't confuse. This is the other part that you don't confuse the rotations for technical elements with the rotations for routines, like free routines. For free routine, you can count a rotation up to the toes. For tech routine, you have to do exactly how the element is uh, uh, defined, okay? So that has to be very, very clear. For flexibility, again, we cannot make up stuff. The the even if we know that just holding a split is a flexibility move, we need to show the actual transition that is in the rules. You can do a variation of it, but like the actual transition needs to be there for it to count. Okay. For airborne weights, there. So for airborne weights, what I have encountered is that there are some choreographies that I have seen already that have a lot of airborne weight. Um, and, and for this, I only need to say that there's a limit of two and not for the level, but actually two by hybrid. You cannot do more than two airborne weight like um, um, families in one hybrid. But for example, for rotations, you can do an unlimited one from five to nine, but limited one from one to four levels of rotations. So make sure that you value the way that you create a choreography in order to take advantage of the limits. If you want to do more than one airborne weight, maybe you can take the biggest, uh, like the heaviest, like the one that counts the most, um, and then use the rotation part for, because there are some sustained things in rotations that you can use in your favor too, okay? For connections, that's for duet and team. Um, what have I learned about connections? Not much other than the change of the... Of, of the points um, and hopefully uh, we can see more of that ex of those examples once uh, we start seeing them applied in the new rules with the new competitions mm -hmm. then so then the what doesn't de get de doesn't get declared is things that are not in writing right um then things that we can take advantage of is creating a figure that moves so that's the bonus is traveling angles placement synchronization and pattern change synchronization and pattern change for teams right um team only uh what else yes all of these um uh, you might have been okay so this is another one so what is Traveling is pretty easy to understand. Like just show that you're doing a hybrid traveling and it has to be more than one meter. If it's not more than one meter, then you cannot uh, declare it. Uh, angles, I will say now, placement is really easy, a hybrid in the last 20 seconds. So you put a hybrid in the last 20 seconds of the figure of the routine and you get the, those extra points. So make sure that you that, that's pretty easy to also do. For synchronization, there's um uh, you get more points if you synchronize your full team than if you don't. Um, but if it's partial, then you have to factor, which that's another class. And pattern changes. Um this I won't go into because I haven't created a, a, a choreography for teams. So you need to, when you start working on it, I've heard that it, it becomes easier. 
For angles, I can say, because I did ask again, Ana Montero, what is the difference between a single angle and a complex angles? So if you have been a swimmer or coach, you will understand this really well. Um, a single one is the ones that are like straight legs, um, the ones that are like touching like foot and the other one foot, um, the ones that are like 90 degree bend, right? Um, the ones that are like easy to synchronize and to perform because you have some kind of reference right? Like, like a clear reference, like in this, you have like the water on the surface and the leg is straight up. Um, you have it, like you go in this position and it's a, a, a closed angle and you have the feedback of the feet touching together. So that's easy to synchronize. This is easy, easy, easy to synchronize too. Like when it's flex and the other one is point, those are easy to synchronize, right? Easier. Complex angles are when more than one, uh, uh, more than two angles uh, are uh, joints are bent. So like hip, knee, uh, ankle, even toes, and it's like usually open to like sixty degrees instead of like forty five. And like there's more play of different angles, on balanced positions. Um, so then that's the difference between like simple and complex. Okay. What else? Uh, the number of movements. Uh, I got a question on this too. Um, you don't in a figure, in a figure, let's say that you only do the bend knees, right? You can declare and like, you have to declare all of the moves that are done in a figure, in a figure, right? Um, I heard of a coach say, no, no, but we need to declare only the moves that are done like in relation to the families. No, no, no. Family is just another piece of the cake. Like you can get points for doing this as many <laughs> times as possible in like you can do this and do 40 seconds of this and do 40 moves of this, 20 with each leg. And however much time that takes you, then that is a number of movements. So that's like 40. So that's like a level four of number of movements. So then probably it will be like a, a level three of time underwater. <laughs> so that you declare that even if it doesn't have any family in it. Okay, so just make sure that that was a, a bit of a confusing uh, thing also. Um, yes, the other the other thing. Um, patterns for technical teams before you could start from over the water. Like there were a lot of people that did like the pike in 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 a cadence and that was like the beginning now the beginning has to be everyone all together so for example you can all go into the cadence in a pike and begin from the pike the cadence like one leg over them you know for the end it needs to be exactly the same so then for example you can all hold a vertical up at the end and then just do all together one leg and then break it down right but you have to begin and finish all together it cannot the cadence hybrid cannot begin in a cadence and finish in a cadence it has to be inside the hybrid right so that is for juniors and seniors Okay, make sure that you print out Appendix 3 so that you have all of the references um, on, on the elements that need to be shown for each category. Um, also, for the limits of safety 
acrobatics for the 12 and under 13, 15. Um, and uh, there's also acrobatics. Um, actually, I have a course this weekend because I feel that we need to be much more in tune with how to train them, train them well and know what, how to perform, like define it, right? When you know how to train it, you know how to define each move. Like each move will be done much more with a bit more perfection. And that really helps the technical controller see if what you have declared has been performed, right? So it's very important the, the also to keep looking at the, like we have it already, uh, you know, like we have it already given it to us. It's just a matter of like whatever the, the like for example, for club levels, like just pick one and make sure that you know exactly what to do and that your team does it well. And from it, I think it should be like the evolution should come from something that is already set, right? Um, if you have the tools to create something new, then of course, uh, try something new, but make sure that like careful with being so innovative, um, especially with young kids, like no innovation with young kids. They need definition. They need to know what they're doing and what they need to do in the future. Like be careful with them. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? 1315, anything about the elements? No, okay, so this is an introduction. Maybe we can do another one. Let me know if you like this. I kind of used uh, this self-talk as a review in my head as to something that I can recreate in the future. Um, Oh yes, I forgot to say, for 12 and under 13, 15 is combo. For junior, senior is acrobatic routines and there's no highlights anymore. Um, yes, men will be included now in Worlds and Olympics. Um, so if that concerns you, make sure you go to page 21 and look at the categories where they fit. Um, yes, there are two men that can be included in routines. Um, yes, we all know this stuff. Um, uh, yes. So I think I talk enough, right? Let me know if this was good for you. If it was like a good review, if you have any questions about anything that I said, um, and if you are searching for new information, let me know. And then this way we can keep on feeding off of each other. Hope you're well. Take care. Bye.